color grading means that I adjust the, the colors of, of the shots. And the, the colors are really split up in several aspects of the image, like saturation, brightness, hue, uh, grayscale, and so on. And it's very important to think of those terms uh, separately. And uh, the reason why you do color grading is to make the shots uh, fit together and make the shots look good and also to give a general visual style of the movie. And I'll try to show all of those. If we start to watch this one, we'll see that the different shots are quite different in colors. The first one looks really good. It has a soft, uh, a little bit uh, yellowish light, quite bright. Then comes a little bit bluer tone and a little bit darker. And a little bit lighter again, bluish. And dark. And very bright. Okay. Okay. And yet again, okay. And then a final bluish and quite dark shot. And of course this takes lots of time to fix. So I'll just do it very roughly here and uh, take the opportunity to show some of the tools. Uh, <coughs> I usually take this w one step at a time. Uh, for example, I go through and fix all the grayscales first. Uh, this shot has a quite good exposure, so we leave it at that. And this one was a little bit dark maybe, so we'll adjust the, the brightness here. And when I adjust the brightness, I have a, some different tools that I can show, a couple of them at least. As you can see here, I have opened up the effect window, so I have easy access to the effects. Uh, brightness and contrast is very simple effect. Uh, it just lowers the, uh, changes the brightness of the image like this, and the contrast. <coughs> and one important thing when working with color grading is that usually it's very very small changes that you need to do. So I I increase the brightness a little bit. You, you can't, you almost can't see the difference, but if I click on this FX, I can toggle between these ones. The, the non-effect and the effect. Maybe a little bit more. But now the image is a little bit uh, foggy. Uh, the contrast is low, so I increase the contrast a little bit. And now it's a little bit more oomph, so to speak, in the image. And this one is <coughs> a little bit too bright. So I take down the, the brightness of that one. One that I usually have to fix um, uh, the grayscale is levels. And this uh, list of different uh, numbers here is completely incomprehensible. So remember to click on this one, the setup. And this one is easy. Because here I can adjust the middle gray level, make it darker or lighter. I can take the black and make it even blacker. And I can take the white and make it even brighter. And then I can also change it so that the, the, the part of the image that are completely black, if I change it like this, the, that part will still be the darkest part, but as you see it will be much more brighter. 
it will be a medium gray. And the same here. I take the most bright parts, the window here, and make that, in this case, darker, a medium gray. And, uh, well, I just play around with this, and, uh, and it works quite well, actually, I think. So, in this case, when I just need to lower the, uh, the brightness of the image, I just bring it down a little bit, like that. And yeah, that, that's it, basically. Uh, as you see here, I can also choose to control only the red, the green, and blue channels, which means that the level setting can actually be used to control the color of the image also. Uh, okay, this was not good. Uh, let's see, uh, whoops. Uh, let's redo that a little bit darker, like that and uh, switch on and off the effect. We can see that this brings up the contrast and makes the, the image a little bit snappier, so to speak. So let's roll. And this one is very dark. Here we have, uh, uh, we have a very bright light in the background and quite dark inside. Uh, and one uh, effect that might work in that kind of si situation is this one, shadow highlight, when you have very big difference between the shadow and the highlight. So let's try that one. As you see, it fixes the image automatically, sort of, but it looks a little bit strange. There is very black outline al along the silhouette here, so it doesn't really work. You have to uh, turn off the auto here. And it still has an effect, but it, as you see, it, it takes the dark uh, part of the image and makes them brighter. And uh, it works quite okay, but I think that the, the interior of the bus looks a little bit washed out. So I bring down that effect, so that it makes the interior of the bus a little bit brighter, but not too much. Then I can control the highlight also, to try make the highlight darker. But as you see here, it's completely burned out to white. So even if I try to bring out the dark part of, you can see that it happens something up here in the, in the left corner. But the, in, the exterior is completely white, so I can't do anything about it. So I just leave that. And here we have this hopeless shot that is way too bright. Um, and it's not much to do um, um, <laughs> about it, really. Um, uh, we can try another tool. Um, let's see if it's uh, this one. Yeah, curve. That's another way to co control the grayscale. <coughs> and as you see here, uh, I can, uh, let's see, this it has a nice feature. I can turn on the uh, split view here so that I easily can see, as you see here, it's the top part of the image that I change. So I can easily see if it gets better or not. And uh, in this example, I, I Control, I change the grayscale by adjusting this curve here. So it, her hair is very washed out. I can make that a little bit darker and then try to adjust the curve a little bit. Um, and then to bring out the background, I can make that white a little bit grayish like that. Uh, well, maybe uh, something like that. But uh, at the same time now, as you can see, the red of her t-shirt here or, or the top becomes way too much red. So to fix that, I can add a color balance and then bring down saturation to something that looks a little bit more normal. Uh, so 
maybe the shot is a little bit better, but yeah, maybe a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with these ones because they are quite good, as I said. Uh, this one here is maybe a little bit yellow, so I can take an opportunity here to show the uh, the levels, how that can be used to not only change the grayscale, but also change the, uh, the color of the image. If I go to red, for example, and bring down the red, you can see that I can increase the red, but also take it away like that. But I shouldn't overdo it, of course. Um, I can do it just very, very slightly. Okay, on that one. And if we switch the effect on and off, well, this is almost, I, I can make it a little bit stronger so you actually see what I, uh, what I did here. Okay, and then we switch it on and off. Then you see that here the, uh, the shot is a little bit yellow, but if I turn on the effect, it is a little bit bluish, really too much now, but just so you can see the effect. So the levels can be a good way of changing the, the color of the image also. Another way, if I take away that one, I could have used the um, color balance, for example, uh, and adjusted the hue. But see, as you see, the changes are very, very big. So it's a little bit difficult in, in using this one. Uh, and yeah, now it gets a little bit more yellow than red. Here comes the coffee. And at the end here, <coughs> the, um, the image is uh, quite dark. So let's uh, try this uh, shadow highlight again on this one and uh, not the auto, turn off the auto and bring down the shadows again just so that it's a little bit better. Uh, here I have the opportunity to actually bring out the background quite much as you see. Uh, this is the original image and then if I turn on shadow highlight you see that the shadows get a little bit brighter and the very bright background gets a little bit darker, which uh, works quite well in this example, actually. But the image is still quite uh, bluish, so uh, what should we do about that? We can try a three-way color corrector, maybe, see how that one works. This one is also very tricky, but uh, we can move these. Uh, let's see. By moving this one, I can change the color. And as you see, it's very easy to make big changes. But to make very small changes, that's not easy. Let's see if we turn on and off that. Well, it doesn't amount to much. Yeah, actually, that was a little bit better. Here is the original image. It's a little bit bluish. And if I turn on the three-way color corrector, then it feels a little bit more natural. And as you see, I just played around with it, and uh, when it looked good, I stopped playing around with it. 